got this clawed lakey mouthpiece for tenor and with it because it doesn't come with a ligature Oi! this is a six star three clawed lakey made in the usa all right so let's open this thing up see what we got we get tooth guards oh man yeah Okay, so we got this nice little silk pouch here. It's got Claude Lakey written all over it. This feels really nice. Inside, we have the mouthpiece covered in this paper. This looks like, like tarnish paper. Okay, so this is definitely a plastic mouthpiece. And we have our typical Lakey band that goes across like this here. Six star three. You have this Claude Lakey signature thing right here. This is carved into the mouthpiece. We have this rounded window area here, this chin, as I like to call it. We have relatively thick rails on the side. Yes, I am growing my thumbnail out. I bought a thumb piano. Okay, let's look at this tip. And as you can see, up here where this light is kind of shining, you can see that right in this area here, where the light is reflecting, that seems to be a tiny little bit of a forehead that's there. Before goes into the chamber here. Let's take a look at it from this angle. And looking at the inside, you can see where there's a separation from the bore as it goes into the chamber. These inner side walls look flat. And you can see it almost has a little tiny bit of a duck bill if we look at the baffle and move in toward that. Very curious to see how this mouthpiece is gonna play and I'm thinking I'm probably going to like it. That does look pretty even on the tip. Let's take a look at this inner chin area here. You can see that has a type of ramp sloped shape to it there. Okay, it's a pretty simple piece of kit. Not very expensive. I think I paid around $86 for this on Amazon. I saw it for over $100 on Musician's Friend. That's jazz right there. I didn't notice that at first. Okay, it's a very lightweight mouthpiece. Let's see how lightweight this thing is. 27.95. This is in grams. 27.93, stand it up, 27.93, that's about where it's leveling out anyway. Let's do another test here. Okay, so this is my Autolink Supertone Master that's here. Here's a neck, let's put this thing on. You can see that just fits right on just like that. That's pretty loose, but I'm just kind of getting a general idea of about how big the diameter of this bore is. So with this mouthpiece, okay, it is definitely smaller. Simple fact of the matter is, is that if you're looking for a mouthpiece like this, um, it's gonna be a smaller bore than your standard Super Tone Master Autolink. Okay, let's get to playing this thing and see what we got. <laughs> Okay, um, 
I'm really liking this mouthpiece so far. I am not liking <laughs> this mouthpiece protector. <laughs> It's not the blastomatic mouthpiece I thought it would be. Now, I'm sure if I just put a different kind of reed on, I could have it do that. But it's actually, it's a lot better than what I thought it would be. I like this mouthpiece. switch ligatures to the compass one that I bought. All right, everybody. So this is the configuration that this ligature should actually be in on the mouthpiece. However, everything that you've seen with this thing on the internet actually has it reversed. So I'm going to try it in both configurations. So I'm going to do it this way first, and then I'll switch it around. Okay, I generally prefer this in the reverse configuration because there's less contact with the reed. However, the cap that it comes with will not fit if you have this thing in the reverse configuration. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> ligature makes it darker somehow I thought it would be the exact opposite of that this ligature does feel kind of cheap the more I'm using it the cheaper it feels but let's give it some time let me play a little more <laughs> brighter. It's kind of going back and forth. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am really impressed with this mouthpiece, especially at the price that it comes in at. Now I did switch over and use my own mouthpiece protector there, that one felt more comfortable for me than the one or the ones that are provided, but I felt like this mouthpiece really threaded the bright and the dark thing really really well. And then when I put this ligature on it, I felt like it did it with greater expression. I'm actually kind of impressed with this ligature. I think it's priced about right. It fits a lot of different mouthpieces. It does feel pretty cheap and plasticky though, but it gets the job done. I am gonna do a comparison of this T45 Jumbo Java versus this Claude Lakey Six Star S. They are around the same tip opening too, so that should be a very interesting challenge. So uh, you might wanna try picking one of these things up. Also, I'm not paid or endorsed by any of these companies, so I don't really care if you get one or not, but I think that this would be a nice addition. Uh, I think that this is definitely a good purchase. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so some things that I don't like about this mouthpiece, uh, first and foremost is the mouthpiece protector. I do like that they give you some replacements for it, but when I pulled my own mouthpiece protector off of it, that one came up. And uh, that's kind of a sore spot, I guess. But I'm always going to wind up using my own mouthpiece protector with this thing. Also, I don't like the small bore. It's a little tight on the necks. Okay, here's another weird thing. This mouthpiece plays way better than the material that it's made of. So I actually had all this dialogue I was going to tell you guys about how I think they should make the mouthpiece out of hard rubber and metal and all of that. But it turns out that they actually already do. Thanks for tuning in. That's all I got for you. Mm -hmm.